Welcome to the ITU studio here at the World Radio Communication Conference WRC 23 in Dubai in the United Emirates where I got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Ekaterina Imedadze who is the Commissioner for the Georgian National Communications Commission. Ekaterina, welcome to the studio. Hello, Max. I'm pleased to be here at WRC and in the studio. Now, we've seen each other at, at a, a few ITU events. This one in particular is a very long and uh, convoluted conference, uh, but it's an important one. And I wanted to find out, uh, why is it important to you, for you to be here? Yes, thank you very much. The World Radio Communication Conference is the most important venue today, which is deciding about the future of the wireless communication sector. So it's precisely important uh, for countries like mine and every country in this world to be actively participating because important decisions about the scarce resource allocations are taken hear about the mobile communications as well as about the future of satellite communications. And Georgia uh, has an ambition to be kind of the leading country in digital in Caucasus region. So for us, both areas, mobile communications, satellite communications are crucially important. So we're trying to follow the important topics, be proactive. In general, the work of radio communications units uni at ITU is very important for us and especially now when the decisions are made during the next uh, several weeks. So it's, it's a pleasure, it's honor and yeah, high importance to be here. Tell me, what's the radio communication scene like in Georgia? Uh, so, radio communications is the key enabler of digital and as our country has uh, high ambitions about evolving the digital economy, so telecommunication uh, has the highest, highest focus. As a regulatory authority, we are trying to work more, concentrate more, more on the work of market opening, uh, opening the country for innovative technologies, for new entrants, etc. So, also taking care of the the things like our regulatory approaches are harmonized with the approaches on the other sides of the world, which ITU provides the best perspective on that, how to harmonize, for example, spectrum, how to set the standards for technology. This is very important also from here to take back to our country. So it means that Georgia will be open for the global players in the future for the provision of telecom services. Now, we're very pleased to see you here, not just because you come all the way from Georgia, but of course, because you're a woman and because there are ambitions to increase the representation of women here at the World Radio Communication Conference. What do you think about uh, this particular initiative? There was a gender resolution that was passed as well. Um, I wanted to get your impressions of that. Yeah, this, this is very important topic I also follow. Uh, I, I also wanted to mention that I'm actively following initiatives like Network of Women by ITU, and I was part of it uh, back in Charles and Sheikh during the, uh, the regulatory uh, conference. So, and I know there is a, a resolution about the uh, gender equality, and this is part of the SDGs. So it's gender equality focus is something now also the Madam Secretary General is very much supporting. And um, the initiatives also like uh, women in GovTech, uh, women in cyber, I'm trying to be part of the mentorship. And this particular area, which is more like radio communications, uh, usually is less represented by women. And like, for example, regulatory venues where you can find more women. But I, I think that this is also crucially important that the radio communications directions will to be more and more represented by the women decision makers, women on the leading positions where the equity and equality and open system of the wireless communications is decided. And has the gender landscape changed in, in, in Georgia, for example, since you've uh, been working in the industry? 
uh, gender uh, equality uh, at the level of the experts was not an issue in Georgia, but still the biggest challenge is remaining uh, for the women and the leading position, decision-making positions. But of course, this is gradually changing and also uh, being part of the mentorship programs or, or being more present on technology venues or radio communications venues is something I think I can support this journey for the yes. young ladies. Because you trained, you trained as an engineer, is that right? Yes. And, and then you, you did you work in the, in the private sector and then, and then went into, uh, into the government sector, yes. is that right? That's that's yes that's that's true actually my uh, first education is physics and it technologies so yes i i have this passion for technology and i all the time encourage uh, try at least to encourage uh, young ladies to be more proactive and try not only be good engineers or experts but maybe try themselves as a leaders in technology which is more uh, important for inclusive environment. Coming back to the conference, what do you hope will be some of the outcomes uh, that will make the most importance uh, coming from this conference? I think the very important decisions uh, as we follow are now taken about the satellite future of satellite communications and the future of the next generation space services. Uh, this will be the ecosystem where I think each country can find its niche uh, to increase the digital systems as well as how to allocate the next generation mobile services like next to the 5G and 6G. This is something also we want to be part of the bigger mobile global telecommunications system. Well, Ekaterina Imadadze, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, hopefully we will catch up with you again at another uh, ITU conference. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much. And uh, we hope you have a great success here at the conference. Thank you. I, I wish great success to ITU WRC. Thank you so much for interviewing me. And it's a pleasure always and each and every time. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, do check out our other interviews on the ITU YouTube channel, as well as SoundCloud, or wherever you get your podcasts from. And for further details, check out our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.